Hello YouTube, Library and Larry here with another Toontown We Written news video. Today the TTR team has added a long awaited update and that is the options menu. This menu can be accessed by clicking on the walkie talkie next to your sticker book or by going to the old options page in the sticker book. Once there you have the ability to change a lot of things for the better and have more diverse customization options. Major thing we can now change are hotkeys. That is right, no longer are you forced to use the arrow keys to move around, and now you can use ASWD instead. You can also change the hotkeys for any action in the game, such as jumping, opening the sticker book, opening the map, and anything else you can think of. Also, you are not bound by any particular uh, sets of keys, so you can make the move and the interact buttons and the jump buttons literally anything you want on your keyboard. Under the video tab, they added a bunch of ways to change how the game looks. You can put these options at higher settings for a better looking game, or put them at lower settings to make the game run faster. Now I think these are supposed to be subtle, because personally I didn't notice much of a difference between the low, medium, and high settings, but that could just be my monitor, and it might be more pronounced on other people's games. Another cool little addition under this tab is an FPS counter, so you know how many frames your computer can handle with your current settings. They also added in a completely new walking animation. Well, I guess this video is useless now, which is a lot smoother than the old one. They also added the option to walk instead of run by using the shift key. I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure why anyone would use that unless they're working on some kind of video, but either way, I'm glad it's there for anyone who does find use from it. Now, one really cool thing that they added in is that they are letting us test out new options for them, which you can opt into under the video menu. Now this shows promise for future content, hopefully they'll let the community test some of it before it comes out. One of these things that they added are really cool. Now the two options they are currently testing before they roll them out to public release are animation smoothening, which I tried and personally I don't really see a difference, but it's probably just because I don't know what to look for. I'm sure if you know what to look for it probably looks a lot better. And the other option which is really cool is 3D. Yep, they added in a 3D option that works with 3D glasses, which I'm showing you footage of right now. Unfortunately, I don't have any 3D glasses lying around, but I definitely want to try this out as soon as possible and see how it looks. If it looks really cool and it makes a big difference, then I might make another video on this, like a follow-up, talking about it. Personally, I can't see it making too much of a difference since uh, Toontown is technically a 3D game mostly, but who knows, it might make it look a lot cooler and be a very cool addition to the game. Other than that, this menu also gives you the ability to turn off the visual cues if you like, which was added in an earlier update this year. You can turn on Discord integration without actually having to go inside the game's files to turn it on. And you could also do the stuff that you could always do, like change the sound volume or mute things. So that's about it for this little news update. What do you guys think about this? Please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you guys want me to cover any topics on Toontown, let me know in the comments below. It can be literally anything, such as a thing in the game you want advice about, some rumor or mystery that you know of from Toontown's past that I could look into, just anything that you want me to uh, make a video on. So yeah, that's it for now. I will see you guys next time, and thank you so much for watching.